I wanted to to ask you one question that I thought nobody had asked you, but I saw like last year, uh, Gali Russell from Hyperchange, hello Gali, yeah. he asked you yeah. about um, Tesla stock and you said that you own uh, some Tesla stock. Do you still uh, own them? Welcome to Money and Investment, where your financial future starts today. Ever wondered why starting to invest when you're young is a game changer? Let's dive in. Investing in the stock market might seem daunting, but it's a powerful tool for building wealth. Why? It's all about time and compound interest. Starting young means more time for your investments to grow. Think of it like planting a tree. The earlier you plant, the longer it grows and the bigger it gets. Worried about risks? The earlier you start, the more time you have to recover and learn from market ups and downs. And if you're starting at 50, no worries. It's about choosing the right strategies suited to your stage in life. You own uh, some Tesla stock. Do you still uh, own them? No. Actually, um, uh, when I was talking to Galley, I did own stock and I was buying and selling it and I made a tremendous amount of money. Uh, I went from $20,000 to $170,000 and that buying and selling. Because every time I saw the, uh, the stock go up, a lot. I knew that the short sellers would kind of try and drag it down. So I'd buy it. Then the short sellers would drag it down. I'd buy it back in. And then it just kept going up and down. I kept making a lot of money. Then I found out that um, if I give interviews, oh, you're not allowed to own stock. So mm. I I wound up having to sell it. So I, I, I sold uh, the stock that I had um and called it a day as far as i'm concerned i mean that's uh that's uh two two or three cars that i'd normally buy or a house i mean that's a lot of money i it's a lot i'm of money. happy i i but i can't i i don't own any uh stock uh uh in as a matter of fact i own no stock in anything because i've gone completely to cash even in my uh, retirement plan and you said, I think you said to Gali that before buying Tesla stock, you had never ever bought uh, one company single stock. Is it right? That's correct. Yeah. And why did you decide to do an exception in your financial and buy uh, Tesla stock? Uh, when we tore apart the uh, when we tore apart the Model Three, and we got past the ugly parts like the the doors didn't fit and the paint was terrible, on and on and on. Once I got past that and started looking at the technology. And we knew where, we know where everyone is. I mean, you only see a small fraction of the cars that we actually tear apart because people pay us um, quite a bit of money uh, to, to tear a car apart, assess it, analyze it, cost it, and then come up with redesigns. So that basically allows us to know exactly what's inside of every vehicle that's in the marketplace if we want or at least the most advanced vehicles. And looking at what Tesla had versus everyone else, to me, this was a no-brainer. Um, I don't care, I can, anybody can fix a panel, anybody can uh, fix paint, anybody can uh, make uh, gaps in a car better, and nobody can make, uh, can make circuit boards like what Tesla did. Nobody can produce uh, electric motors like they do. I mean, they're just, they're 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 light years ahead of everyone. Well, at least a dozen years ahead of everyone. So, it, it, to me, as a as an engineer, it was uh, any engineer that looks at a Tesla knows that it's um, it's far and away the best uh, the best designs on the planet. You you've spoken of different part of Tesla's cars, and it's really nice to see your your videos because. Uh, we get to learn a lot about engineering, but also it's very nice because you get really excited, both positively and negatively. It's very nice that yeah. you said the things that you didn't like about Tesla. Um, about all the things that blew your mind uh, positively, like the chipboard that you're saying, the Octobalve, the uh, super bottle, the uh, wiring system uh, with the seats, uh, which one would you say, okay, this one was the one that I said, wow, the most. Well, I would say I would say that um, the thing that really blew my mind the most, and it still does, is their circuit board designs. They are, without a question of a doubt, elegant. 
and they're very complicated, but they're simple in construction. Many things are combined into one board. They take full advantage of, um, uh, of multifunctional thinking. Um, I, it's very difficult for me to get beyond the electronics and the, um, the simplicity of their electronics. That's, that's probably number one. Close on the heels would be the, uh, the cooling, the Octobel, the cooling system. Um, and, and that's for basically a different reason. I mean, I could, I could sit around if I had enough time and maybe design something that would be similar to it. But, um, when I look at how they like the depth that you have to go into in order to make that happen, I'd have to know almost everything else about the car. So their systems engineering people, I, I don't know how they work it there at Tesla, but their systems engineering people are obviously the same guys that are connected to the electric motor because the motor in essence has to have uh, it has the capability for heating a car. I don't know if you knew that you stall the motor yes. and it, it creates heat. So, but all these different systems have a peculiar or particular needs and wants. In order to make the octo valve system work, you have to have communication extraordinaire. You can't, you can't possibly uh, do this in isolation. And so the second thing that I would say is, um, is um, the electronics designs first, but, but right after that is the, uh, is the environmental control systems. And, and the reason for that is because of the teamwork they must have in that, in that company in order to generate uh, an elegant small design that basically suits the purpose of everybody and everybody that's uh, that's associated with a car. So that conductivity for something that has to go everywhere in a car, it's like <clears throat> what you're looking at there is the uh, it's the system that runs the whole car. Without that, nothing else is gonna go. I don't care how good your battery is or your motor or anything else, your system, if that thing fails, everything goes down. It's like, it's like your heart and your, um, and the system that runs your body, that runs the fluid uh, that gets to your brain or your or your elbow, everything has to everything has to be fed, and your heart is the thing that does it. So, to me, the uh, cooling system is uh, is the number one um, after the chipboard. The number one best team effort I've ever seen. Period. Ready to start your investment journey? Explore our channel for more insights on making smart, informed investment choices. Remember, it's never too late or too early to start investing in your future. Join us at Money and Investment for more tips and tricks on building your wealth. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out.